Today we're checking out Dot Age. I thought it was Dotage, but it's actually Dot Age. This is a new turn-based resource management worker placement indie game. Man, that's a mouthful. Uh, but I recently discovered this, and I do like this game. It has received overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam, which did pique my interest and I knew required further investigation. Uh, to explain in one sentence, basically, um, if you took the board game Agricola and you made it into a never-ending colony manager, that's basically Dot Age, uh, except it's single player, of course. We will begin uh, with a new game here. We're going to overwrite our old game, uh, Reset Tutorial. Actually, I didn't even get started on this one. We will just begin playing. I'm still kind of in the mode of discovering content here. We're going to be playing on normal with uh, the normal elder. You're kind of role-playing as an elder who's sort of like a soothsayer for the village as you go through. A little bit more on that later. I have kind of mixed feelings about this. I'm going to skip through most of the story, but um, uh, most of the game is about worker placement. There's a little bit of exposition here. Actually, I can just totally skip past tutorial bits. Um, I don't know why that's still coming up for me, but yeah. I... Uh, Basically, instead of competing with other players for scarce resources, you're using this area to rapidly prepare for apocalyptic events with the threat of wiping out your village. Um, I, I do like the whole kind of pixel art aesthetic here. I think it's very easily readable and I think it's nice. Uh, it is pretty, but it took me a few playthroughs to find the groove here. And uh, the event system can be sometimes seemingly slightly heavy-handed, but I think when you get into the groove, like I said, uh, there is quite a lot of good stuff to be seen here. Anyway, overall, satisfying, tons of replay value, but let's get started. So we're going to place down our bivouac uh, to begin. And, oh, by the way, we'll also all probably horribly die and perish in a fire. Uh, but just like kind of, you know, setting expectations low. Uh, I think I will set us up nearby some of the... I want to be near woods so that I can get some early resources, but I also want to take advantage of these very nice bushes. Uh, so I think if I go here, it will be pretty easy for us to expand out. Yeah, we have one wood adjacent spot. I don't really like being next to this puddle, but... Uh, Maybe right there. That's actually a pretty good spot. By the corner of this uh, rock. Okay, so do we have our pips? These are pippins. Uh, these are our villages. I thought that was pip squeak, but yeah, pippins. Um, and they are basically like our workers. This is our labor force here. We're going to start by building them a cabin to begin with. And this, like every square kind of has strategic value about it. It's kind of like, uh, I don't know, I'm thinking like Agricola or Carcassonne if you've ever played either of those board games. I'm trying to avoid references to RimWorld because I feel like RimWorld just gets brought up a lot. And it is, there's some things that are like RimWorld kind of in a turn-based way, but... Uh, I kind of prefer the Agricola analogy here, and I, I really like the board game Agricola. And if you haven't played it, I do recommend it. Um, anyway, we're going to go ahead and just expand our territory right away by building a couple of signposts. So we've got uh, four pips. This is our worker placement here. Busy pips, pips available for work, and pips that cannot work. Um... We will go ahead and just collect some... Man, no, we have max 40. Uh, actually, I can... Um harvest here. So I will begin with that. Uh, I'm also not streaming this right now. Mention. Oh, and I did buy this game uh, with my own with my own credit card. With my mom's credit card. No, of course not. Um, yes, but with my own. I just didn't receive a key here. Just disclosing. Um, I just found this one on my own. Uh, sometimes that gets brought up. Anyway. Uh, clearing. Uh, I will need clearing soon enough. We're going to just check out some research types of things that we want to do. So we've got a thinker's post um, community. We've got all kinds of research coming up here. I guess this is kind of like a rim world, but what game doesn't have research, you know? Anyway, um, we have our bivouac, our starting tent. We can upgrade that to a village hall. We have tons of things basically around food growth, uh, family and community growth. Some of this is food in here too. Uh, community, this is has to do with events, omens and things like that. And then we have education, the thinker's post. I do think we'll need a thinker's post pretty early on. And we want to upgrade that. And also some of the construction purchases are pretty essential. I think the very first thing that we're going to begin by researching is wood stacks. Just because, well, we're going to need wood. And it would, it would probably behoove us to get wood faster as soon as possible. But also to get more pips as soon as possible. So we're going to probably try to reproduce... 
Anyway, I'd better get started here because there's just like many turns that need to pass. So our village is extremely humble. It's four people. The elder just kind of walks around nagging everyone. And doesn't really have a place in work. I don't really know why that is. Uh, he's just not very useful, I suppose. Now we want to have some thinkers posts, and we'll put these off somewhere out in the open because we don't want those to be near any other resources. Pips need quietude. Otherwise, see here if they're near other things, they can't get any research done. So if we put this out by, uh, we might end up using that for like fishing, but I haven't really broached that system much yet. I think if we just do like three posts, maybe a fourth one, uh, no. Um, I will begin just here. This is slightly arbitrary and maybe not the best spot for it. But oh well. Um, we, we gotta start somewhere. Let's get a couple of these too, just cause I don't want, I don't want research like not happening. I need research ASAP. Um, just thinking again on this. Okay, so wood stacks. We've also got... Uh, nope, that's all our workers for today. We don't even have our first cabin up yet, so we can't even reproduce. I'll have them build those two because I would like to get two resource uh, ticks going day by day. But we'll probably try to move into food production and just making more pips soon. Okay, so we don't have enough pips that we need more uh, right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get off that research. You know, actually, I don't think I'm going to research this wood stack yet. I think what I might research instead da, 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 would be... Eh. Actually, you know what, I'll stay with it. I was thinking of going for something lower cost, but we'll just kind of take a long shot here. Um, so we really just want to produce more workers ASAP. We have, pl we have plenty of food we can still gather here. So they're going to just bring each other flowers there and then uh, like begin with uh, the, you know, procreation. Fantastic. Okay, so again, uh, every round, I'm not really doing anything right now, you basically take turns in the sequence and then you declare an end to it. Working takes place and then you feed everyone. So it's kind of like Agricola in the rounds, but just every turn there's a round. Every now and then you'll just get mini events occur too. This is kind of a, I suppose this is kind of a rim worldy type of thing. Um, but yes, someone found wild fish. So the village got four raw fish, amazing. Uh, we will need to, I believe, barbecue those or something? <laughs> barbecued fish? We don't really have the technology for barbecued fish yet. Uh, but you can see inflow and outflow of resources to every turn. So we're consuming five berries. Uh, I believe, what is it, one for each villager and then one for the child. The child doesn't really work, uh, but it is what it is. We've got six wood left, and I really think we need to kind of like bump up these numbers of how many pips we've got. So I'm just going to continue making houses left and right and before we're really ready to feed everyone we're just gonna make more pips anyway uh other things to do i think it would also behoove us to get a wood pile going uh just to get some sort of wood harvesting it's really our only building resource right now but that's pretty much the end of the turn again i will get a little bit of research done on the wood stack uh, arguable, could have spent that on food. We don't really have any omens happening yet, though. This is very simple village building. We'll get that come up soon. We'll get, like, another piece to the UI here. But the game kind of introduces elements as we go. So now we're down to one wo uh, wood. Wood. Uh, but yeah, uh, it is what it is. I don't believe there's any type of, like, food preservation, but you have max 40 in your holdings. Uh, you can raise that number. Man, there's really a lot to say about this game, and I'm still learning it, too. I just realize I've been playing it for only about three hours. I'm still in discovery mode, but there's still so much uh, in it. Lots of content in this game. But uh, I do think that this is where the most fun happens in the playthroughs. I don't like it when you know the game like the back of your hand, you know? Uh, I, I kind of prefer doing a little bit of learning. So all that is done now. We've got one wood pile. Ah, kind of feeling like I could use another wood pile. Maybe we'll take a break on this research. Feel like I could have spent that on something better, but I didn't want to get too much food either. So, otherwise we wouldn't have been able to store it. We'll have two more reproduce here. We've got one child growing up. We'll need time for that to occur anyway. And you can keep getting food. Ah, actually, we have a lot of food right here. I think I'm just going to let you not do that for one round. And then let's get, let's get another wood pile up because it takes wood to make wood. 
as they say. And, you know, they may not say that, but it sounds like something that people could have said at some point in time. All right, so Max40, how are our stores doing? 20, we're at 24 out of 40. That's not bad. We got a little bit of research going already to get our wood uh, gathering up. But I, the next thing I'm going to start to think about is food. Because we've got only temporary stores of food right here. All right, so I like this. I kind of trust it. Um, we can still have a good wood inflow, and when we upgrade these, we're going to not have very good occurrence of wood at all. So let's go ahead and just, like, kind of expand our territory. Where do we have bushes? That's really what I'm looking for. Okay, we could, uh, like, gather in the woods. That's an option. But I'm thinking if we get access to the... No, we can't get it there. Ah, this is a little annoying was hoping we would have had access to more here. We could go into this tile, and that would give us access to everything. I think I'm going to build one here, because I don't want to put the sign here, because it's going to be hard to access stuff later. We're going to have to go two signs over. Um, and then we'll assign another villager, too. Can we just kind of balance these three or so? Yep, all right, that's fine. Um, other things going on? I think that's about it for this turn. Yeah, we've got pips growing up in here, so we're not really going to have any more right now. Kind of keep it small, too, because you can over... You can grow too much. It's kind of like in the board game, you know? You can grow too big a family, and then you're this poor, hungry family at the end, which is <laughs> kind of funny. Um, you learn a lot from people uh, based on their board game personalities, you know? So I guess I'll learn about myself as I go. Um, other things, the chickens there, we can t uh, make use of these chickens later on, but we've basically halted our uh, research right now. Not enough free pips. We do need two pips free to have another pip. All right, let's... Yeah, you know what? Let's commence the overpopulation. Like, maybe one more. Because we need to, like, utilize the extinction burst of the remaining food in order to create a fight-or-flight response. And that might not make any sense... But I think it gets the emotional impact across of what I mean is occurring in this instance. Three huts. All right. We haven't... I don't feel as though we've overexpanded with... Our, expand. We haven't expanded in our uh, huts too, too much. Let's go ahead and maybe create, like, another sign over here. We don't want to put it over there because then they can't do anything with it. We kill the research off. Uh, you know what? I'm spending too much time expanding, maybe. We've already got tons of bushes. Ah, uh, there's so much, like, indecision in this, you know? It is really, truly a painful thing to have to decide how to dispose my people. Let's go ahead and just get a little bit more of a surplus of food um, while we prepare to upgrade our wood. There is actually... Eh, no, we have good wood, good food inflow right now. Eh, you know what? I will do the sign thing so that we can get more thinkers posts. Thinking ahead, sorry. I just want to see... Actually, maybe I'll do... Here. That way I could do a thinkers post there and another one there. Ah, these decisions are like... It, it, you want to do everything at the beginning of the game, but there's just not time... I, uh, what's really... Do we have an event yet? No, oh, no. No event yet. There's going to be a bad event that occurs. Like, when we spot an omen, but it's going to take a little while. And that is... the adversity for which I am uh, preparing. Alright, let's go ahead and get maybe another thinker's post here, just because the faster we can research, the faster we can get everything done. Okay, uh, use up a little bit of wood for that, and we will use up, like, basically the rest of the food here that we've got around. That disposes all of our workers. Actually, we don't really need that much, uh, wood. I'm thinking from here, let's just make sure we've got, yeah. Yeah, we want to make sure that we've got a good, uh, like a little bit of a buffer with food here. Alright, good enough. Good enough. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we've got a little bit more research coming along. Want to get that wood surplus high. Cool. Okay, we've got the Elder coming out. Well, really not cool. So he's going to see an apocalyptic vision, which appears to be meteors to me. But it could just be fog. I, I don't really know, judging by the pixel art. So this guy's going, like, cray. 
You know, personally, I don't really like these sequences. I guess that they kind of convey the story, but uh, every time I play the game, I seem to get pretty much exactly the same event text as the other. Like, I, I do like it. I mean, it, it is, like, well-made fluff, but I would sort of just like to kind of continue with the game in these. I mean, we have a town meeting. Yeah, I know this. I've already been, and everyone's just freaking out, and I see the same thing. Oh, I can, I suppose, yeah, I suppose I can just skip through that. Although for some reason I've had to click that multiple, I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, all that being said, um, we've got how much wood now? Plus eight, minus seven. So our flows are looking pretty good. We're slightly raising food every turn. We've got a little bit more ways to go here with the um, research thing. Do we have enough pips to... I guess I could have another guy research here. I, I almost just want to have another, like, house. Let's do that instead. Yeah, we're going to need more pips before you know it anyway. So let's just get another one. All right. Five days until an omen arrives. Uh, it will be the first omen, which I do believe is a... You cannot influence its outcome, so we can't really... Many omens and events, you can influence the outcome by making your villagers happier. Um, cause it to be a positive event instead of a negative event. So instead of an apocalyptic event, you get something that is just good. Uh, but for this one, I suppose we don't actually have any control. All right, I will just take a pip off of that right now, and then we can... We don't have enough free pips. We need one more. Is there anyone we can dispose to not working for right now? Um, I don't really want to take away anyone from thinking. Thinking is a very important task, but... I have a builder, I have two on there, I have two thinking. I suppose we could take that guy off building to, like, create a family. Yeah, that is acceptable, and then we'll have another house tomorrow. Okay, so we just have, uh, we're getting, like, kind of marginal here with the food. Not totally happy with that, but you know what, we're getting close to the, uh, better wood cutting, so that is important. Definitely important. All right, and we've gotten through kind of the awkward phase here. I mean, we don't really have too many options, but we want to make sure that our village expands enough. Okay, so as you know, it takes like one day to have a child. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Um, eh, let's see. Plus 12 minus 8. Plus 8 minus 8. Okay, so then that puts us even. Let's go ahead and just get a little bit more wood here. And are we able to... Oh, if we want to get a wood stack, we do need actually one more technology. We need clearing. Uh, so we can just spend a little bit of time chopping down wood normally uh, for that. Forgot about that one. All right, uh, let's continue time. Yeah, and that'll take two turns. And then we'll have a good surplus of wood. All right, so I'm not really making so many decisions right now. Our village is still simple. Not too much has happened yet. We haven't even had an event happen, uh, but we are kind of still in the awkward growing phases. Okay, so this lady has encountered this child, and she's holding a stick, and for some reason they're both happy. This is created. Yeah, of course. Yeah, liking. Okay, so they like each other. People have relationships, uh, and as you go further through the game, you unlock more mechanics as you go. Uh, there is quite a lot. And I think this is actually a rather good thing about the game because <laughs> there might be too many mechanics. <laughs> like an overwhelming number at, at first. It was very confusing. It took a few playthroughs for me to like get what was going on. But I do believe that's true of a lot of good games. So not really like a... I, I, I do actually like that fact is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, um, okay, researching clearing here, and we still have a decent amount of food, but we're going to get pretty low on food soon because there's not too much in these bushes, but also we don't have too, too many pips either. Um, all right, I think I'm okay with this. All right, let's have another turn pass, and then we'll get better at collecting wood. Finally, after all that maintenance. But the more pips you have, you just gotta get more efficient at creating food. Now that being said, once we pick all of these berry bushes, uh, then we will start to look into like fields, you know, baking bread and that kind of thing. But it's going to take a while before we get there. So let's go ahead and um, upgrade maybe one of these to a wood stack. Could we do both? You know what? I think I'm going to go out on a limb here and yeah, upgrade both of these. That's going to dispose all of our other pips. 
Um, and then you two get off technology research, and let's just have another pip. Um, are we like say we are slightly raising food as we go through there, but I think we need more technology than that. So let's go ahead and assign you two to thinking. And then we definitely are going to start to need uh, something to sustain ourselves. So there are more efficient forms of food here, but we're just going to need tomatoes soon enough. Oh, or even better than tomatoes. Now this one takes two steps to do it. Uh, but if we get a hunting tent, and then we get like a, I believe it's a barbecue is going to unlock here. This is amazing, and it like we can get chicken, which chicken is great. Although it does require some more training. I think we'll just be bush pickers. Although we do have some nice like wet fields here. Maybe if instead we went into the raising of tilled soil and tomatoes, that would be more opportune. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that instead. Okay, other things that I'm like checking to make sure of is that not everyone is starving. Uh, you can get horrible disease and like starvation uh, strike your village if uh, obviously if you allow everyone to starve. Um, so hopefully that will not happen this time. That has happened several times already. So okay, so we've got an event here, um, an omen event incoming. It is, is it more likely that it is good than bad? Hang on a second, let me just take out the prophecy sheet. Actually, we have a pretty good chance of a positive event, right? Or do we get any influence over this one? This might be one that just happens on its own. Uh, people see something in the woods. Okay, and he is stunned. I always seem to get the stunned event here. And he's been made into a coward. Okay, Picago is stunned for three days. Fear, threat, oh no, it permanently increases by one. That's no good. Uh, and then gains the coward trait. So, uh, I might have been... That might have been for the next omen, actually. I'm not sure. I always seem to have somebody get stunned by this. So, maybe I'm just not playing that well, though. All right, we've got um uh, one guy basically useless now who's just sitting there uh, and won't even go home. Uh, what else have we got? We've got another two research occurring today, but now we have more pips to do stuff with, so I can go ahead and send somebody else to farming. So now we gain eight and lose nine. But we're still upgrading these things as well. Hang in there, guys. All right, I think that's about all we can do for today. Yeah, good enough. Good enough. Whoops. End the day. All right, I think I've got to let them do like a little bit of work right here. Um, so I think I'm just going to let this play out for a minute. I think you've seen the gist of the basics. I think I'll come back when I get a little bit more research done in a field. Just because I feel as though this is getting a little bit grindier at this part. I've, I've got to let some turns pass, man. All right, enough time has passed that I think it... it basically warrants uh, catching them. I'm about to plant the tomato fields. I've had to do quite a lot of research to uh, to get that done though, so there is that. I'm gonna go ahead and put out this meeting spot nearby their houses just so that, oh no, I don't want to interfere with the research. I guess the chicken planting is okay to be near, so we will just go in this position. Uh, but that's gonna t cost two wood and take about a day to build. Who can we take off of their job to do that? Uh, and in the meantime, we just we have to keep kind of agonizing over the decision of what to do uh, with all of our research points as we get them. I'm thinking it would probably be helpful sooner than later to get stone because that is a pretty basic resource, so I will allow that. But also we need food, so a hunting tent wouldn't be bad either. Um, but we've spent all this time on tomatoes, so let's go ahead and just give that some time. You know, go for the resources right now. Uh, we've got four people on research. That is quite a lot of them, but we're still building another house to make room for more pips. We haven't gone too fast. We need one more day for a well, and we have a goodly amount of food. But as you can see, we are not doing too particularly well in the omen department. Uh, there is an event that's going to occur soon, and someone is... Something bad is going to happen to someone. Uh, we do have fear from threat, but we have right now a 17% chance of things going well. And that's not too particularly great. Uh, I just let more of them do that. I should not have done that. Oh, well. Um, 
two more days till that occurs. We can send one off there, and then maybe we could have the meet. And eh, I mean, we're bound to have some bad events anyway. So whatever it is, what it is. Uh, but I I need stone soon anyway. That is to say, and also we are beginning to run low on food again. All uh, right, but we do have a well now, and the well is well a well is good. So let's go ahead and put in some tomatoes. Uh, I've really agonized over this whole tomato decision. Um, but now we are, uh, tomatoes are available for the having, uh, sooner than later, or they will be. We don't, we need more seeds though, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those plants. Oh, uh, that's a pain. Let's go ahead and just have another pip, and that means one person is left to make a decision. I'm just going to start to take away these bushes, because by next year, if these things should regrow or anything like that, we're probably not even gonna need them anyway. We'll need the open ground for more, you know, production. Anyway, so we do have tomatoes that are going in the ground now. And we have enough food, I think, to tide us over from here. Now we've got a meeting area ready as well, but this is a pretty unlikely ch chance of this event going well. We'll still give it a shot, nonetheless. Cool. Growing at like a pretty sustainable rate. A nice array of houses too. Man, this game looks good when they go home for the night. So now I've got a pretty terrible chance of this going well. Uh, let's see if we get at least some chance. We'll get a 33% chance of obtaining a good event because we did create this meeting spot. Basically, the more leisure activities your pips have and they spend on them, uh, it means there's a better chance of things going well, as I take it. Like, you know, stuff like jesters, shows, um... And like anything to take care of. Basically, healthcare. Actually, that does dispel like things that have already gone bad, but... Uh, essentially that. This is going to take four more days for these tomatoes to grow. And have we gathered up plants from elsewhere? Not really. Okay, so I'll just throw down another tomato plant. Uh, tomatoes are a pretty good source of food. Pretty good source of food. There's better stuff out there, but it is what it is. Let's get the bivouac. Um, now, now we do have uh, actually undisposed pips now at this point in time. Let's go ahead and start to research more. That way we can get closer to chicken production, because chicken barbecuing is actually like a pretty good source of food. Uh, and we're going to need it if we're going to continue expanding this village up to the size that I desire it to be at. So, uh, whoops, I have one guy idle. It's nice that it does like kind of stop you. I guess I'll just put him on getting more wood. Yeah, more wood is pretty much always a good thing here. Uh, that's about as well as we can do with the omen event, and we will do a die roll here. It's kind of interesting the way that this is done, so I'm, I'm glad we'll get to see some sort of a chance-based event here. Alright, so we have a 33% chance of this going well. We roll, and it just kind of goes for us. So just cross your fingers. And, oh no, we barely got the bad thing. Okay, oh darn it. Uh, this isn't the worst thing, though. This isn't the apocalyptic vision yet, because that's going to occur later on. And we need to make sure that we're ready for that, but this will make things slightly harder from here, so that's not too great. Uh, so what, will they get into, like, an argument? Yeah, so two pips got into an argument, and they dislike each other. Just, like, generally bad things. They hate each other, actually. Village gains five fear, and that's also just fear on top of everything. Uh, there is nothing, like, continuously wrong, though, that's going to create more... I guess you would just call this fear. Fear and hope, really. I was gonna call it, like, dread or something like that, but I guess fear is the right word. Okay, so we've got, um, another four here. I guess we don't really need all four of those, though we could overlap and we'd still get it back. Um, oh, we are, like, getting really low on food as well, and these things are not fully grown yet either. I'm thinking that probably the next move here... Yeah, we don't have any other bushes. Uh, would be to get a signpost going over there, or maybe over there. I guess I'll clear out this top area. Are we going to starve today, or is that going to happen soon? When are we going to starve? Uh, never a good question I have to ask. Uh, just like slightly mismanaged this. Oh well, too bad. Um, we will continue putting down more signs here and there. Uh, 11, we have 10 pips, so that should be good. Uh, why is it? 11... Why are they eating 11? Is there one for the elder? Actually, not sure about that. Now I feel as though I should go check that. Um, 
So we will go ahead and start building up more hope. Just because, uh... Like, we've got five here, and I don't see us getting too many more buildings uh, in that direction for a while, so I eh, might as well go for it. Okay, I think that's about it, and we've got one more pip. Eh. Still waiting on these tomatoes. It's a good thing we got those in the ground when we did, but we might not get them in time. Let's go ahead and just get more wood. Might as well. Will anyone starve? Because we'll be able to get food next turn. Next round, or tomorrow, I guess I could just say. Good, we'll get the stone builder. Stone, or stone gatherer. Doesn't really seem like anyone's starved. I think we're fine. Um, eleven, and you are picking those berries. Good on ya. Um, ooh, we might get a little bit of starvation today. Mmm, uh, I mean, that's not good, but whatever. Uh, as far as... Chicken. Raising chicken is going. Construction. We've got some of that. We've got most of the things we need. Workbench will be useful for when we want more jobs later on, but I think we go for a hunting tent next, and then maybe we'll start to upgrade these research uh, areas. Let's go ahead and go plus three there. I think there will be a one guy starved today a little bit. Uh, seems to be no way around it. I guess we could have done like a gathering area. I want to prevent it from happening tomorrow as well. Let's maybe, fellas, not gather so much wood, and we'll do another sign here. Just that oh, we always keep missing it. Oh, well, we can get at least one of them, uh, and that will prevent... Yep, there we go. Some pips require food. Recky. Um, yeah, we just gotta go. <laughs> one guy's gonna, like, slightly be hungry. Uh, I don't know why they wouldn't feed the child. Like, of all the pips to not feed. Yeah, just don't feed the child. Um, we can't really get it from the bushes. Yeah, we're just stuck for a turn without any food. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess that's the way the cookie cr Does he die? Don't tell me that. I'm pretty sure that he doesn't die. No, but he does get that. Yeah, he gets like the disease mood lit kind of uh, deal. So now we have, actually, we didn't even plan on this happening for right now, but. Oh no, this is horrible. We've actually brought this on early, I think. And so we have health versus sickness. We've got two from hungry. So they don't die, but I mean, it's not that great either. Um, None idle. I think we're just going to spend today getting ready for this hunting tent. And we can always like, you know, sow more health among our pips. But yeah, we're about to get these tomato farms uh, harvested as well, so that should be good. All right, good. We're back in the green on food, and I'd say we kind of made it. That was that was a hard area to get through. The the beginning of the game is like slightly awkward in that in that uh, sense, in that area. Let's go ahead and put down a stone gathering spot, like here. Might as well. Uh, and then end our turn. Nobody will starve today. Great, okay, now the tomato fields have flourished. Uh, those will blossom again in the summer. I believe we're in spring right now, day 28. So, there is a seasonal cycle. We haven't really seen it yet, but as they come along, um, pips will, yeah, there we go. Spring, seven days to next season. That's still plenty of time, uh, but we, you know, want to get stuff done. <coughs> Excuse me. Um... So, you know, uh, so th or harvest these things six times. Let's go ahead and get away from the bushes, fellas. Uh, and maybe we go over here to the tomato fields, because that's six more days. Uh, and that's actually going to net us more food, so why not? Get three of these. Uh, you will start to look for the barbecue. I could go to Hunter's Lodge, which is great, but um, eh, it doesn't really... To critters within two. Actually, how is that appreciably better? Oh, it doesn't take as many days, I suppose, to hunt. Well, still, I mean, like, you know, replenishment and whatever. Um, you're just, like, twerking over there. Or whatever you're, whatever you're doing, you know, whatever suits you best. Uh, not enough free pips. I do need another one. Okay, well, let's go get some stone, because we just need stone now, too. Lots of needs, man. Lots of needs. 
Anyway, uh, hunting tent would definitely not be a bad thing to get, and we could put that here by the chickens. Uh, cruise within two. I do believe the barbecue needs, like, a dwelling to be near it. So if I put this here, I think this will work. Or here, really. Either one works. I'll take that. Uh, end my turn. Okay, so, you know what? Like, us having two people doing a meeting has caused hope to return to the pip. So that much is good. Uh, we do need to keep an eye on when these events will strike, though, as well. Okay, so what is this? I believe this is just a random event. Are you happy or unhappy with one another? Okay, good. Liking. Liking has occurred. Or cordial talk. One had a pole, and the other one had an axe in his hand. Didn't really look cordial to me. I was expecting the opposite, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, to each their own. Let's go ahead and... Whoops. Oh, wow. I just got everybody's name up all at once. That is quite nice. Uh, hmm. How many days left in the season? Six days left in the next season. If there's anyone we could take off of... I do want the barbecue. Now we've got actually a pretty... You know, we went from having, like, no food to now having just tons of food. Let's get you off of wood. Let's get you off of thinking. And let's get on to making more kids for our village. Well, after a season of what I would honestly consider to be some very hard work, we do seem to have... Uh, oh gosh, we've actually got over our max Uh, I should not have done this. Uh, wait a minute, are we at our... Did we hit our resource cap? Why are we not... Uh, may not have to do with food, actually. I've never... Oh, of a single resource. I misread that then. I thought that we could have max 40 of all resources. We have way more space than I thought we did. Uh, okay, that being said, anyway, that doesn't really affect our plans too much. But uh, we have a lot of food now. We went from having, like, no food, we were actually getting basically disease, to now the opposite. Uh, so we have researched a pond. Uh, this is to keep our village cool. Sometimes you can have a big fan blowing at your villagers. It slightly differs from playthrough to playthrough. Uh, but we will go ahead and take one person off of research here. We want to get a retreat ready for uh, thinkers. We're going to train professional thinkers next. But we want to cool down the village because right now we're going to have an environmental event arriving in three days. And we need some way of cooling down our village. So somewhere out of the way here, I think like maybe in the middle of this open area, I'm going to put a pond. Oh, wait, nope. Uh, actually, plus one if water maker within one. That is quite nice. Uh, unfortunately, I have not handled that very much. Um, is it really worth the time to do this? Let me just see if I did... I have two pips free. That's not bad. So if I were to put another water maker, that will take two days, unfortunately. Um, I'll put another water maker there anyway, because I'll probably use it. Um... Yeah, like, as you can probably see, I, I'm just going to undo these tomato fields... Uh, who would undo a tomato field in their- who in their right mind? Um, but for now, I guess we could heal one burning pit with water. Well, if we've got three days and it's going to take two, it's still going to take another one to make it. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and build this thing here at the same time. That way, by the time the day comes, they'll both be finished and we can just do this. A little bit overcomplicated, but that is to say, item placement matters in this game. Uh, and this will cool down our village in time for the event, I do believe. So let's go ahead and end the day again. Again, we haven't put everything toward, like, some baby boom here. I feel as though that would be an irresponsible way to, uh, expand our population. Everyone would just starve to death. Like, you'll have one night come up where just 12 people starve. Uh, maybe not to death, but to, like, you know, near death. Because we're slightly influencing the event here. We've got another day before this happens, and then that's going to produce another one. Uh, and in the meantime, in the interim, I suppose that we go ahead and start getting these chickens prepared. If we have enough time. Uh, yeah, let's get you off of stone. I just want more of these structures created. Um, how many more days? Two more days till the next season. Eh. Okay. 
that's pretty good. There's a lot of turns where, and it is kind of, it does give you that kind of Agricola feeling where it's like, ah, I wish I could do more on this turn, but I mean, there is kind of a limit. You're limited by your intellectual capacity. Like, it is a turn-based game, and uh, I can't just, you know, like, uh, do it out in real time. Okay, so we've got another event here. I don't find this to be particularly invasive. I just find whenever there's game dialogue, it kind of throws me out of the loop. You know what I mean? Okay, cool. So we got a free health event. Village ga Good wishes. The village gains two health. Amazing. You know, I actually haven't talked about the music. Very good sound in this. Okay, so we've unlocked the retreat. Uh, now we've got good 100% chance of obtaining a good event. We've kept it cool enough. So we have cool, like, features for the winter and hot feet, or, uh, cool features that need to be used to cool us off in the winter and hot features that need to be used to keep us warm in the summer. You know, like a hearth or something like that. Okay, so we've got a secluded retreat, I guess. Uh, minus one for each building within one. So that requirement remains about the same. That is good. Uh, or at least predictable with all the architecture we've already set up. Now, I would like to get some cool fields going here, but I think it's going to be a while before I can do that. If we take maybe two of you off of thinking and instead we just upgrade these things, I think that's going to be better for us in the long run. And that will mean... Look at how much wood we've got. We haven't had a single issue with wood production, as it were. Uh, so that is good. That is good. But let's not waste all this thinking on nothing. Uh, I'm thinking a village hall would probably be good soon. We have almost enough stone. And... Uh, or even, you know, we could go for the better quarry. That means instead of getting one from each, we get three. Yeah, three times as efficient. That's pretty good. That's actually even better in terms of times upgrade than the... This is double, this is triple. Um, but that's going to take 30 to research. Okay, so, uh, but we do have the better level of it. Hang on a second, what else have we got? Mm, village Hall just seems like nice low-hanging fruit, though. Eh, what the hell, I'll take it. Alright, we'll do that. Um, two, two, but we are upgrading these. It's going to take another day. Oh, and we're also out of tomatoes. This is why we have so many people free and open. Don't even research. Let's just have another pip right now. Might as well. We've got so much food uh, that we might as well go for it. Uh, two more. Wow, even two more free now. We did such a great job with building resources before. You know, we struggled in that one instance, but after that, mm, everything was good. Oh, I just realized I should not build there because I have another thinker's post there. I guess we will continue building in this kind of direction. I want to leave a little space here in case if I decide to do something with that. Keep in mind, I'm probably not optimizing these placements, but yeah, you live and you learn. Uh, let's go ahead to... I think that's it. Yeah, we're going to get the event tonight, so we'll see what we... Oh, no, two people are... I thought I had done something with her. Oh, they weren't even put onto building. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Okay, then we will... Can we just send one of you? Okay, good. A little bit more house creation so we can start to exponentially increase our population. Exponential population increase. Now, the reason I went for thinkers here is because this is a job that doesn't require any tools in order to prepare a pip for. Some jobs, like if you want them to be a professional hunter, will require... Um, Oh, wow, it looks great. It will require extra tools to make. So we've got a uh, seasonal threat is set to one plus year. Consequences in five days, summer. Uh, okay, so it is now summer. There's nothing really bad happened here. Oh, so this is actually, oh, I didn't realize this is correlation with these. So health, uh, fear and hope, season, and then cataclysm or nature. Obviously, nature being the better one there. Uh, but we did have good events occur here. Was this just a seasonal change? I guess so. Either that or maybe we just put it off for one year. I don't really know. Okay, but yes, the entire map has changed. It is now summer. Uh, and slightly we get a crop rotation. Do we actually... Uh, no, actually, I stand corrected. I misspoke then there. I do believe this is just fields that have 
been harvested. Uh, well, that's embarrassing. I, I admit I did not know what I was doing there. I thought that you can replant the field, uh, but you actually just have to right click and then hit plant. I find that the right click here is a little bit like kind of disguised sometimes. Like it was hard for me to find that. So it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, this field has, oh, that's kind of curious actually. This field is now replanted at six, maybe because I left it growing? Or I left some there. Either way, things die in the autumn, I'm pretty sure. I, uh, I I don't, I just straight up don't know for which crops do that. So I just am like slightly dumbfounded there. But it is what it is. Okay, we'll get another way of getting seeds. Just because it would be nice to have some source of seeds here. Other than just destroying all of our bushes. Just massacre the bushes every year. Uh, otherwise, we are turning chicken into chicken wings there. And a little bit more construction going on. Okay, that's fine. Uh, nothing crazy. As far as seasonal events... Okay, our village is doing great. We are starting to build up a lot more leverage now. Uh, we are pretty much doubling our capacity in terms of output with research, which is really the main thing I wanted to get after. Uh, the village hall is coming along. This is going to up our storage capacity because we are starting to go over with some of these resources which is really great uh, but there are definitely some areas where we're still lagging as we go which is kind of making me a little bit nervous but um let's see plus eight and minus one all this wood production was a really good investment early on i think so if we go ahead and make this a thinker's post yeah we can just upgrade that and now we have a couple more days until this event, but we have no pips uh, available for that. Uh, who am I going to take off of this? You know, we can stop killing the chickens for one day. Let them reproduce so that we can uh, create more cold. I don't want this seasonal event to boil us all. Just because generally speaking, if the events go poorly, they start to kind of compound on each other. Like, oh, like... One guy became distressed. That made you more fearful, and that made the entire village less productive. Especially early on, if one guy freaks out, that can kind of echo. It's like the butterfly effect a bit. Um, which is just why I want to be kind of careful here, and I got nervous when that one guy starved. Because look, I mean, now we have 50-50 when our first health event comes. And I don't want to put all those resources into just, like, researching health right now. Other thing that happens too is, uh, now that we start to specialize pips and jobs, like these four people are thinkers, we don't really want to use them up on other stuff, like it kind of becomes a waste of their time to do that, so we don't want to specialize too, too much early on, but I just feel like that this is a, like a very important profession to have people on, so, yeah, actually, you stay away from that too, let's just have more pips, just every turn now, pretty much, we want to be reproducing our pips, um... Yeah, uh, you know what, I think I am okay, yeah, eight knowledge per turn seems pretty great, so we'll do that. And I want to make sure that we have a full 100% chance of this event going well, so let's do that. Um, I don't actually know, why do I have you... I guess, yeah, we'll take some hemp. Hemp can be useful for various projects. We may not have projects for which it's useful, but uh, it's justifying my poor decision making now. Let's go ahead and... Uh, okay, people are fed. Now we get the event. We don't even have a die roll because there's a 100% chance that it'll go well. Have I mentioned I am playing on normal? So, I mean, I crashed and burned the last time I played, though. It was horrible. 5% uh, daily chance of it becoming wet for 10 days. I guess that's good. Oh, wait, no. Wet, I believe, is bad. Uh, I'm not 100% sure about that. Whatever. Okay. So it's raining. Ooh, nice rain. Cool. Uh, all right, so we have more than enough research. We do get to keep that extra research, which is quite good. All right, um, fishing post. I guess we could do some fishing, but we've already kind of got the chicken thing going on. Uh, as far as... <sighs> I don't like having to relax distress prips because it's an extremely like annoying and complex process. You need a, like a tomato and a thing of water to create some sort of, like, brew that you pour over them, I guess, and it cools their distress? I don't really understand. Some of these, like, recipes just seem so bizarre. Like, wh what is that? Um, but yeah, like, I mean, they do make sense. Like, it's a very clear inputs and outputs. 
Remedy rug. Uh, if the hemp maker within two. Oh, so that adds to health. I'm thinking it would be good to get this thing early on. Just because, uh... Just to make sure I'm getting the right thing here. Because we have used some hemp. Hemp maker within two. Uh, it requires dwelling within two. Remedy rug. What else could we get? Um... Oh, yeah, we did want the quarry. I feel like the quarry would be better to get sooner than later. Stone gatherer within one. That's fine. All right, we will do a quarry then. Okay, so that's going to take a few turns to get, and I am starting to unlock more content in the game as I go. This is kind of like the meta progression here. Like, we didn't even have fishing. I believe you, if you get far enough in this, you can unlock uh, rabbits. So just, there will be content that I am discovering too as we go. Uh, I should probably have read that. <laughs> uh, uh, I just generally learn through mistakes. Um, don't worry, I will pause if I, if I really mess up, I will just pause the video. Whoops, uh, we don't want to do that yet. Okay, we put you onto that, and then we do, yeah, we'll do a village hall now. Yeah, we'll need, uh, more stone for the quarry, so we'll also get, uh, it's fine. Alright, so we've just had a doom event kind of spawn in. Uh, this is very bad. We've got one, like, each turn... Three more fear is going to be produced. One from threat, two from doom. So we had a really good standing here before. We had 14 and 5, 14 hope and 5 fear. Uh, we managed our events pretty well before that. I think we'll be fine in terms of climate. Uh, but here we go. We don't really have any people available, so we're going to need to dispose more of our workers to this. Uh, as you can probably tell, too, I mean, the whole heads-up display of everything is starting to become, like, a little bit more more overwhelming. And I do like the way that this game kind of holds your hand into it. Um, but it kind of goes from like managing a small family to managing an entire village to just a town. And more and more can go wrong. Like more people can starve the bigger it gets, which is like kind of funny, really. I Nothing funny about that. But you know, there is, um, I was trying to think of the silver lining, silver lining. Um, uh, I just find it interesting. I think that was all I was going to say. Uh, food, uh, here, this, uh, what else are we missing? I wanted to say, no, that's, oh yeah, meeting. Okay, so this will, like, stave off things from getting really bad. We want to, we want to prevent this terrible thing from happening. Uh, I believe it's the doom event that we're going to see. One foreseen unknown event, better prepare the, okay, whatever. Um, can we reproduce at all? Nah, we've got enough other long... T Actually, we don't really need you on hemp, and we don't really need you on berries. Go okay, oh, have another pip. Alright, I think that's it. Uh, just kind of continuing here. Man, we are doing great with resources. But yeah, this is what you can kind of see is... Did we go to resource outflow yet? Oh no, then it's like baby production, and then the feeding occurs. Good. Um, okay, so the day will come closer, and now we are going to unlock quarries today. Some days you just don't really do anything. It's just sort of like, okay, skip another turn. Uh, I could do another meeting spot. You know, this is going to start to drift away from me if I let it, so I think let's just create another meeting point to prevent this from happening. Oh, whoops. Uh, not there, though. If we do it near by uh, this dwelling, or that one, that's fine. It's just going to give us a greater bonus. See how you get one hope if it's not near any house, but if it's near a house, a meeting place, you know, like within sight lines of people's dwellings, I guess, is how to kind of justify that. That's why that occurs. Um, uh, we can gather more chicken meat for the barbecue. Man, look at how, like, good that is that leverage you get from the chickens. They just produce so much food, man. They're just food machines. Oh, that's the stuff. Uh, and I wouldn't prefer to keep that at 100%. This game must be really spicy at uh, higher difficulties. It just takes so many people, like, to prevent this doom from occurring. And I still think we will have a very low chance of it, you know, not succeeding. Or a very small one. Cool. 
I'm doing remarkably well this game. We were not doing this well in the last one. Okay, and we have another event going on here. Uh, what is this? Was this one we could influence? I think this is just a random one. Wet is cured from three pits. Hot air. All right, traits fire. Oh, okay, we can read it. Events are tied to fire flames. Okay, so everything's very, like, elemental. I mean, I have seen, like, you know, floods going all over the map or... Like, there's fire events, too. There's also certain buildings that are susceptible to fire, so there's, like, a whole strategy behind that. Um, hopefully that... Hopefully we're doing it. Uh, requires stone gatherer within one tile. Oh, so we put the quarry down onto the uh, stone itself. Okay. I wonder if this will apply to both of them. Only way, of, one way of finding out. That would be a nice way of killing two birds with one stone. Uh, other than that, so how far are we... So we're in summer. It would be nice to collect a lot of chicken, though, for the fall. Maybe we'll leave these just with one on the fields, too. And then other, after that, I would like to get some kind of bakery going on, man. Uh, let's also just go ahead and see if we can expand this area outward a bit. Hmm, this is gonna be kind of tricky because I've positioned these in a horrible way. I wonder if I can put down a signpost and then dismantle it later on. Let's just see if we can do that. If we dismantle this... We'll generate some resources. I'm not honestly sure what is going to happen here. If we could just put one down and then get rid of it so that we could build more thinking spots over there, that would be great. But I don't want to interfere. Okay, I'll put one there. Okay, so we've managed to remove the signpost without any real, like, major consequences here. So I assume I could just, at least as long as I've built up enough around them, I think I can just get rid of these things as I go. It's just to expand the land. Um, that's fine. That's great, actually, for right now. Because we are starting to research a lot of new technologies that we don't really even need yet. Like, we have bonfires for the winter. Uh, I think that the next thing we want to go for here is going to be... Eh, you know, let's get more out of our wells, because we might as well just double their production. And It's getting pretty easy from day to day now, too, because we're getting, like, surplus resources. I don't want to kill this whole thing while it's working. Um, but also, I'm just keeping in mind that food can kind of drop down out of nowhere. So it might be good to just get a surplus for the winter. Plus, we've got 80 storage space here for everything. Um, but also, the village is growing. There's just, like, so much to consider in all the long-term consequences. It, you do kind of get that, like, civilization builder feel. Uh, whilst it, it very much feeling like a board game in that way. Um, okay, workbenches. As far as that is concerned, if we put this here... This is useful for more advanced jobs we're going to need sooner or later. Uh, yeah, I'll take one of these here. Uh, and now we've basically got 100% positive on all these events. This is great. We've done a good job, like, preparing for uh, the potential apocalypse that may occur. Uh, and you know what? We have time and space to raise another child, too. Maybe this is getting kind of out of hand, though. Uh, do we have the chicken situation under control? I don't really know. Maybe we'd be better off just spending a little bit more time on food, actually. Yep, all right. I will get more meat out of the chickens. Um... Let's just put another hunting post here, because we might as well make sure we've got the whole map covered before we try to start expanding, I suppose. Yeah, that's fine. We have come to the first Doom event. And Doom sounds bad, but uh, it's not really anything to be worried about. Um, we have the very sweaty, sweaty-looking, smiling face with just a cross for, like, some sort of Cyclops eye going on right here. Uh, but we have basically guaranteed that everything will be okay because we've sowed enough hope over the fear uh, in the event. Just by doing good things in our town. Meeting, having, like, picnics and stuff like that. Uh, Boon Surge of Knowledge. Wait, I remember that the Doom event was... So everything is done in the past uh, tense based on the Elder's, like, recollection of events. That's kind of the trope of the game. I remember that if after the Doom event was averted, the village was different. Um... The village gains 30 knowledge. Territory expands one tile more, or crops allow two more activations before depleting. Eh, all these are not that bad. I'm not sure we have too much. Uh, I'm not sure if this means only for current crops. Or if it's all... I mean, if that's all crops forever, then that's amazing. 
Um, this is just pretty much a good thing. Uh, territory expands one tile more. Actually, that would work in my upper area because that would prevent us from having to... Yeah, I'll take that one, actually. Be interesting to see what this does. Otherwise, I would just take the flat, you know, knowledge. That is a good thing. Um, but yeah, basically, I mean, if you don't, like, if you spend enough time preparing for the events, then you get a bonus rather than, uh, or a boon rather than... Oh, wait, I thought that would just expand our borders. Maybe not. Maybe because we didn't put out another signpost. Okay, they're having another gathering. Uh, fought the doom upon us, but it sense this is not the end. Uh, all right, so there's another flash. New and stranger challenges are coming. Uh, what is this? And then we get to, like, the apocalypse writing again. I do like this, you know? I mean, like, I'm not a big fan of all the flavor text, but I do like the, uh, like, the, the Doom calendar is kind of a cool thing. It has this kind of, like, Mayan ancient calendar vibe about it. Oh, no, our territory did expand by one tile. I stand corrected. That's a, uh, that was actually rather helpful. Uh, what else is going on? We've got a decent amount of most food. We've still got a good, healthy chunk of summer left. Everything's planted. <sighs> what do we want next? So, this isn't a very efficient way of getting hope, uh, just having meetings like this. It takes up a lot of pips, and it's, uh, you know, there's better ways to do it. I think performer's stall is going to be better. We'll have to train this person, but intensifies hope production. I believe it takes only one... Yeah, plus two if social building is within one. So let's go ahead and start researching that, because that's going to be needed for the next couple events. Uh, as far as that goes, shared table. Uh, it just requires too many resources to work. I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I will end up using it. Maybe I'll stand corrected, but uh, I'm willing to say. Like, could we maybe get by without it? Uh, as far as quarry, we actually need special tools to get this quarry going, so we're trying to train- There's so many prerequisites, like you need wood to get tools, but you need to train somebody to be able to make the tools, and then once you can make the tools, then you can train someone to work the quarry, and then that person can make three instead of one stone. So that's triple the output. Uh, but it does take quite a lot of, like, specialized resources. It's almost like going to college, you might say. Um, or like a trade school, for example. Love in the air or cats? Uh, I will take... Oh, cool, like, more events on, like... Look, uh, look at how much metagame... Oh, jeez. Look at how much metagame content there is. Um, yeah, I will take... I mean, probably both. I will allow the cats to appear. You know. It would be a good time to have some animals around. It would. Uh, let's go ahead and put down another signpost. Thinking like here or either one really will do. Uh, eventually we want to get rid of this thing, but we'll just put in more posts. I would really like like a nice set of fields somewhere, you know, to sniff the grass. Mm. Uh, not to make it weird, but you know, just like... Well, yeah, just purely to make it weird. Hmm. Seven wood. Why am I getting, like, beep? Oh, no worker available. My bee. Um. What you, look at you over there just slaughtering those chickens. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of those uh, people over there. Now we have, like, so many more jobs to decide between, you know? We can really pick and choose what we want to do the most. Uh, you can spend your time. Yeah, go ahead and do some barbecuing. We've got plenty of healthy chicken meat to go around. Cool. All right. I, I'm trying to think of what our next goal should be. Everything's, like, kind of hunky-dory right now. Food, really. Food and autumn and winter are my next consideration. Uh, and I feel as though we should become more animal dependent, you know, like the first full year of crop raising, etc. Uh, is like a test. It is a test. Hang on a second. Why, why don't we have a thinker there? It gets tricky if you start to dispose people to other professions accidentally, of course. Uh, we do have enough for one person to become a quarry miner. Nice. Okay, cool. So triple the output. With just one person, no reason to go back to these old ones, and I guess that's basically gonna well, could like clear out some of these squares. We, I mean, why use this one anymore? Great stuff. We are creating performer stalls at last. 
Uh, this is going to intensify the hope production in the village, uh, which is amazing. We've got a couple of people happy right now, so hope has been on the rise. Uh, however, that being said, there are more types of crises that are, are you know, it would behoove us to prepare for uh, in the future. Right now, as far as heat and cold, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, didn't I create a bonfire somewhere? I believe I did. I may have lost track of that, or maybe it is yet to come, but yeah. Uh, for winter, we, we want to think of that, but it's still, we got a good healthy amount of summer left. So 17 days, so, I mean, the only thing we really need is the pond. I think we can cross that bridge when we come to it, but yeah, power cataclysm right now. Um, protection, uh, nature and cataclysm. This is one we have to cover, as well as sickness and health. We've had a Pip get sick, unfortunately, just sort of randomly. So we're going to go ahead over to our research tree and just kind of look into, um, how do we make people feel better? I mean, we have ways of burying the dead, uh, although this is an area... Okay, here we go, remedy rug. Uh, so hemp maker within two, which we do have a way of collecting, but, you know, it, yeah, it requires a couple of other things. Now, these are a pain in the butt, uh, but, you know... People get sick, so it is what it is. Uh, we're just going to need to move some of our domiciles, I suppose, near the hemp, although another way to... I'm not sure if that's actually going to count. I mean, there is a hemp field. We'll need that, too. The more, the better. Great stuff. Great stuff is occurring every day. Uh, the pharmacist... Wait a minute, no. This is the remedy rug only right now. So this is just sort of adding... Uh, like protection from a health potential disaster right now uh, Remains kind of to be seen whether we'll actually be able to benefit from that in time uh, The pharmacist stand though and the healers hut seem like opportunities worth taking part in uh, We have been growing quite a lot also, too uh, I guess we could continue with the chicken harvesting up here really But the hemp maker seems to be working uh, with just simple gathering We didn't really need to create whole fields of hemp, which is Honestly, a relief. Uh, do we still have... Yeah, we still have one Pip who is sick. I think we're just going to kind of continue making babies for a while. Whilst the food stores are still pretty good. Because, you know, we'll be able to do that in the winter. And I think it's a good time. But, uh, let's see. I'm thinking that health is really an area we want to cover here. Because we, we'll be able to tra train a jester. And I think we'll be able to take on the fear... The heat and the cold, I'm not too worried about either. Um, the nature we'll cover next, but I, I think right now we really just want to tackle this health issue because we have only five more days before a relevant event arrives. Uh, so I'm thinking we put one guy onto wood, and then the last person could be put onto health makers within one, so that could be used with the remedy rug, but also this needs a dwelling within two. Plus two if hemp maker within two, so that works for here. Um... And we could put the other one there. I, we could upgrade this technically right now, but or maybe instead of doing all of that, you know, I, I kind of want to like piggyback, but I, like it's a combination between procrastination and just everything is an awful time here. Um, eh, we can do the stone mining from the south later on. I may need to relocate this, but it, it is starting to get to be a puzzle, you know, now like squeezing everything into the village and eventually later on. I'm, I'm sure I'm making a lot of mistakes that I'll regret later, but eh, you know, the other thing too is that we just aren't really seeing the full picture yet. Uh, susceptible to flooded. Healer's Cottage, some of these things you don't even want to upgrade to just because you don't have the resources and it's a total waste of time. But I'm thinking the next thing we go for, we've got good growth. We want to keep kind of balanced in our production. I would like to be able to go, you know, really niche hard into one strategy. But uh, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and do maybe, yeah, get a whole field full of hemp. Because now we have a reason for it with health. And then after that, I'm thinking barley. And, you know, maybe wheat and bread just seems pretty cool. Uh, in fact, maybe let's do that right now. Because nothing is really pressing in concern. Maybe nature, but I don't see too many opportunities to really... Oh, actually, I'd stand corrected. Um, Yeah, we'll do an altar, and then we'll kind of go off on that path. But yeah, it'd be nice to get like a, a real food strategy down. You know, bread or something that lots of people can eat. Oh, just the amount of serotonin that is, you know, uh, being sent out from my neurotransmitters. Or some sort of science... We are coming to the heat event. Again, we are, like, doing pretty well with this one. Anything that we have already encountered... Gee, okay. All right, I guess a good thing. Like, free hemp fields? I mean, maybe not necessarily where I wanted them, but... 
Like just growing out in the grass? All right. I mean, we've got a tomato area, a tomato, a tomato, a tomatorium, if you will. Um, okay, shouting about something else, another unknown event. Um, okay, herb pickers we've got. So, like, the sweating head is feeling better. The other thing, though, is that I don't think we're going to be able to get, like, a jester in time or whatever this is. A knife maker. We need someone to perform with a knife for everyone. A little concerning, like, what type of culture would desire... Honestly... Actually, I think it'd be kind of cool to watch a guy do some crazy stuff with a knife. Um, like knife swallowing. Uh, it's been done. That being said, uh, what have we got? So, hemp fields here. I do believe that these do better with more around them, right? We haven't even had time to think about that, though. We've just been uh, engaging in other innocuous activities around here. I think it's about time, though. Plus one for each field within one. So, I guess it doesn't really need to be hemp. But if we could get these all adjacent to each other, like I said, it's not the formation I personally would have had them in, but eh. I mean, since we have hemp already, we might as well go for the barley and then go for bread production because I'm thinking winter time, it'll come sooner or later and we're pretty much ready with the chickens. Uh, but the other thing too, is, uh, actually, we know we are doing better with health. I take that back. We've been pretty good at just totally avoiding these events, which means we don't snowball, which is great. Fantastic, really. Um, we have a, another hut for a child to grow inside of. Steadily increasing the population, but, you know, trepidation does set in as we get closer toward winter. So I think, um, like healthy, healthy fear is always good here, but we will go with the, um, eh, yeah, we'll do another barbecue over here. Some of these buildings I'm realizing are, have slight problems. Like I shouldn't have built an altar here. Because it does better with multiple woods eventually. So we'll end up building a greater altar over here. But now we're ready for all four types of events. Which is fantastic. Um, we'll go ahead and just prepare ourselves for more heat again. But overall... Um, hmm, like, considering... Uh, considering each... T oh, wait a second. We are going to get a health... No, but we'll have 100% positive here. Yep, just like kind of making it by by the skin of my teeth. But I think this is the fun part of the game. Like I said before, it gets to be just too easy. Uh, but keep in mind, we are on normal difficulty. And there is just a pretty... Oh, I guess I couldn't have really controlled that. Okay, so you're symptomatic. Disease of the belly. Riva is stunned for three days. Gained the symptomatic quirk. Uh, and threat permanently incre- Okay, fantastic. Fantastic. A burp event. All right, we've come to what is most probably going to be a bad event. And the first one in a while. Yep. Uh, yep. No, oh, there was a slight chance of it. I do like the way that kind of hangs in the balance. Uh, it is, it is always a tense moment if you haven't fully prepared. Now, uh, downfall and doom. Let's talk about it for a second. So, generally speaking, it's not just like, oh yeah, we lost a couple people. It is really bad. Like, you will have a downward spiral. Kind of like in RimWorld in that way. If something goes wrong, it's like someone really, uh, really messes up and the entire colony is on fire. And you made all of the walls with electrical, you know, out of wood or something like that. That kind of phenomenon seems to manifest itself in this game. But I do like that. Uh, it feels like like a realistic civilization, you know? I mean, that's what we're building up, and when one piece that hangs in the balance isn't doing too particularly well, uh, then everything goes awry. That being said, right here, we've got a couple of meeting areas. This is just getting to be too much use of people, though, so we're going to go ahead and uh, let's get this jester. Or not jester, knife, knife master sort of deal going on right here. Um, we should probably do another one of these things, because this seems to be pretty high return. I mean, six happiness. Oh, and it also raises this one to three? Maybe. Uh, hang on a second, let me just see. What is what is the bonus for that building? Plus two of social building within one. Oh, and also intensifies the hope production from other ones. So, like, if we have them all right next to each other. Some of these building bonuses I'm still kind of figuring out as I go like I have tons of fields next to each other up here but I'm still waiting on everything to grow and we're kind of coming to the end of summer so this might all just end up being a massive waste which is gonna be sad um 
and also will probably kill us all. But, you know, I mean, in one death, we learn and we unlock more parts of the game. So uh, I think there's very little we can do for this. I probably should have put all four of these right next to each other. Uh, but this doesn't really make a big difference here. I could change this. Maybe eventually I will actually get the tomato field over there. Yeah, let's just move this over there in case if we do get to do this in the future. Because um, this could kind of work the two jesters or whatever they are. And then move the meeting area. The meeting area is pretty quick to construct. Other thing that I'm noticing too is just we have a huge food economy now. And basically... Every day we're using up about the same amount of food as we produce, and with this many people, that is alarming. I want a bigger surplus, but also we just can't hold that much of it, so... You do kind of have a, like a natural population ceiling that you reach for these. Um, our food production, I think, is going to go into a downturn for... It's, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Hopefully we'll be able to fund our windmill though with enough labor you know what i mean okay so now we've got on all fronts things are going awry this is why it's efficient or helpful to get like very efficient buildings from the beginning so plus one for each field within one so kind of situating this among everything would be great plus three during wind of wind events uh need tons of wood for this so what are we using we're also using up wood just to sustain these barbecues every day I guess if we dismantle this, do that, and then throw another guy on to uh, finishing off that wood. That early wood production, I think, was a great idea. A great, great idea. But I'm not going to thin out our population right now anymore. Uh, or I'm not going to continue expanding it, rather. But let's see, we've got three, three. Yeah, see, like 12 and 9. It's just so much to come back from, man. Although this one guy now, what is he doing, really? We are training a farmer, but... Who are you, man? You are a knife master. Wherever you went, brought their knife with them. Always happy to show it and talk about it to anybody that would listen. I like that. Who, who doesn't like a nice, uh, a nice knife master, after all? Um, okay. I think paper maker... Yeah, we're going to need yet... A, yeah, wow. Another knife master. We've already been training a farmer, though. These tool makers, just every job, if you can kind of leverage it early... Uh, seems to be huge. Bakery, though. This is what I've been waiting for. Get us through the winter, man. Let's go. All right, bakery requires flower makers within one. So, so many requirements for these, but, you know, only three water and two flour. That's nothing, man. That makes 25 bread. Or three golden bread. Uh... Don't know what that is yet, but I guess we'll be learning. Um, and then as far as storage and town hall goes, uh, actually not that bad. Although we're going to need board production before then. I'm going to see if I can get this bakery. And then we'll focus back on industry, I think. Because that's going to be the next major area. Whoops. Um, yeah, I'm thinking food, man. Alright. Uh, I got to tidy up a few messes. It's very likely that we'll just die horribly before I get all this stuff done. But, you know, uh, it is what it is. Terrible things are about to happen because we are all about to starve. We have almost no source of food, and I knew this would happen one of the days that it just kind of randomly hits us, but that basically causes massive disease to spread. Look what happens if I stop gathering food. Just we go from everything being great, hunky dory, to everything being horrible. So we're researching fishing now. Uh, just a technology I should have gotten earlier because I overhunted the chickens, and that wasn't such a great idea. Other thing, I just. We had too many people distressed, but we didn't have enough time to, like, make a meeting area, so we're kind of covering up it, it all up with band-aids now. Like, these posts, it uses up four people to do the same amount of work as this one guy does here, so... Just kind of a big waste of time, honestly, so... You know, more and more bad events kind of compounding, and that doesn't feel great. Uh, I guess I could slow down our technology research, but... At the same time, you know, I think I might have just taken too many long-term steps at once. And like I said, we are going to die horribly now. Uh, and I guess I deserve no better, but uh, eh, we'll see where it goes next time tomorrow. But I, I think we are about to reach the point of implosion and no return. So I think it is thrilling. And it is, losing is fun, you know, as uh, 
as they say. But, yeah, no hunger, starvation yet. It's just that each building as you go takes more and more forward planning, so you kind of got to go know the game, you know what I mean? Uh, like, for example, I used to play a lot of Agricola, uh, and when I would play with friends, even, like, very good gamer friends, just because I kind of knew the content of the game because I'd played it a lot, there was more to be had. Uh, hunting fish within two. Uh, do we... Now, in this, I just admit that I am completely, woefully inexperienced. I thought just water would do with the fish. Apparently not. I'm going to have to figure this one out. I have just totally messed this up. Uh, it took one turn to cook the meat, although it takes three to make it. Uh, although that requires a lot more specialization, so I'd been putting it off and we had this surplus, but... Uh, I really just mismanaged food stockpiles here, and now we're going to enter a famine. And this is kind of an old world problem, I guess, because it takes so long to like make food. Although there just isn't that much stuff to eat around here. The other thing that I am beginning to notice, and this may be an early playthrough problem, is I've unlocked the fisherman hut, but I don't think it even spawned on this map. Like, I looked up, uh, and there are, are fish literally leaping out of the water when that is available. So, yeah, just total waste of time on that. Uh, we are getting around to the bakery now, but at the same time, uh, probably just too little too late here. So, I think some people are gonna die. I mean, they're, they're going to get very hungry, so... It should be interesting. I guess this is kind of like the beginning of the end a bit. I will make my way further south toward those other chickens, you know, even if I die trying to get to the other chickens. And I still want the bakery, because I think if we do get it, it'll be worth it. Yeah, I'm sure. I mean, just everyone's going to... So let's observe the exciting starvation of our whole population. Although we will have hope because of the two... Although we might not have anyone to train in the hope. This is when we're going to start to have people die. Okay, this one, I, I would like this one to go well. Oh no! Um... Okay, at least it's more experience, I, I suppose. Yeah, we have had most of the... Maybe we'll get very lucky in some of the other events. Alright, I, I think this is the beginning of the end, though. 5% daily chance of pips becoming distressed. That means... Actually, 5% isn't that bad. Depending upon whether that's 5% each, though, or 5% overall. So, okay, so everyone is horribly hungry. Gosh, man, that really goes from health to sickness. I guess that's not really like a sickness thing. It's just a malnutrition kind of deal. Um, it's, oh, soft bread and hard bread. Good old heavy bread. Hard to taste, hard to eat. Fitting metaphor for our lives. All right. Soft bread. My mother used to make soft bread or bread at home. I was asked for the recipe. All right. I, I don't really get what that. Um, so after this, beyond this point, really the next thing we're definitely going to need for winter is a hunter's lodge just because that's going to create white meat faster. Little subtle things and just checking, you know, kind of board gamey right here, but three days to create. You can see the lower number there. Uh, and then one day to create chicken when you have a hunter. Although I thought I was hunting down the local chickens too fast when I did that, I guess. Uh, I guess we don't really have many other choices. Uh, oh well, and then this one is just slightly more productive. All right, we have transitioned to autumn and now the event has changed from too hot to too cold. It's never just right, you know, never really Goldilocks, but uh, we... <laughs> You know, I really kind of failed with the crop toner turnover here. Uh, tomatoes do grow and fall. I, for some reason, thought they were all going to die immediately. But no, there is like actually a pretty reasonable growing season going on. The farmers are still... G I mean, so much barley we're getting from what we grew, but I just have one farmer to do it. It could just be that you have like a bad year where everyone just dies a little bit and then you kind of come back. Although I do think that the events kind of spiral out of control. Uh, there is a lot here going on. I'm just going to continue letting everyone starve for a little while. That's just, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, it's, I guess we're getting like a green high. Oh no, I think that's the bonus. Never mind. Uh, either way, 
Uh, it is time to get some cobblestone going here, just because that will get our bakery up and running before too long. I mean, after everyone dies, but you know, it is, again, I guess just it is what it is. Uh, in the meantime, I don't know, other things that have happened are, I just feel as though finding that sweet spot of exactly how many thinkers should I get going and where exactly should they be positioned, I think that these are all subtle little questions, but having... And maybe just one more. I feel like that might be overkill. But now I've got all these pips idle before I didn't have enough. And now it's just too many mouths to feed. And that's going to cause the spread of disease. It will just bring the population down. So we'll, you know, research some grave diggers. But it seems to correct itself more or less. Another funny thing here. Uh, the Watcher is the pip that's supposed to calm the distressed pips. But ironically, the Watcher is also distressed. Seven of our pips are distressed. I need to just double check, is, uh, are you distressed? Whoever, yeah, like the watcher being, just, <laughs> you can't calm people down if you're distressed, so you just need to train, like, everyone to be a watcher, which is kind of a pain, uh, and some of the uh, jobs are a little bit limiting. I feel like that's kind of, uh, kind of like self-tend, it'd be nice if they could do that type of thing, but whatever, I guess it adds extra challenge. Horrible things are occurring. I'm curious just how bad this will get because we really let everyone starve. Like, does this increase the magnet? I think we should lose. I think a lot of people should probably die here because I let the entire village starve, so why just one? Okay, so six people are now sick. Good, I get what I deserve. Uh, and that causes just more... I mean, I don't really have anything to compare it to, but that does seem like quite a lot of people, you know what I mean? Oh, and there it is. Now we need to clean up the vomit on the floor. Okay, so I do kind of... I feel like, you know, I deserve... I deserve to suffer a little bit right now. You know? I get, I get what I deserve. Um, yeah, that that's satisfying. Everything has gotten really bad. So I think I'm going to send the pips out to just harvest the remaining berries from whatever is is left. People are sick, They're, they have diarrhea, and, and I deserve this. And we're about to get a bakery up and running. Uh, we're going to, like, disassemble some of these things. I guess we could keep them on the white meat production. But now we have even more people sick from ailments, and that's no good for us. So. He, I'm I'm satisfied with this result. Uh, I think we need to move this nature thing over slightly as well. I will just put a lot. So much of it comes down to subtle positioning, though, that I I could have seen from the outset, and I'm I'm glad it's gone the way it has. You know, because I, I wouldn't really have it any other way for an early playthrough. But let's see. Um, we're going to need another cobblestone path here as well. We do have a lot of stone here. Uh, but we need one to a dwelling, and I think I'm going to put another dwelling up here, or maybe here would be better even. Uh, other thing that I, I think is tricky here is that these signposts just don't have a very big radius. So you just have a bunch of random signposts kind of sitting in the middle of your dwelling, which is honestly a bit a bit annoying. But Because I thought I could get rid of them once I had, had the area, but I, I stand corrected. You cannot. Um, so it's a lot of dismantling and then putting things back together, but... Uh, there is no silver lining. It is just bad. <laughs> Major event. Fear has spread among everyone. This one is really... It could go... Okay, I guess we're gonna get a good fate. We kind of deserve it now. I feel like we had bad luck for one of those last ones. But still, uh, getting to the end of the metagame progression, I feel like is gonna get us to a good, honest playthrough. It doesn't look like a good thing's happening to that guy, though. I guess... Maybe he's getting rid of, like, his explosive diarrhea. No, he's just having some great thoughts over there. Well, okay. Eureka! <laughs> the sick, the two sick men with diarrhea had a great idea by the riverside. I'd cure, uh, interesting. All right, uh, cloak maker. Man, so involved in these. It's like all the minor professions in Agricola, kind of. You know, just so many options. It feels like this game does throw a lot of them at you, though. Okay, we've got some snowfall occurring. Small uh, snow paths, snowy up here on two terrain. 
Uh, affects the buildings negatively. So this is interesting. We've got snow plowing going on as well. So I like this. It has kind of like a harvest moon vibe about it, you know? I, I know that's kind of an old school reference, but just it's the first game where I... There's this whole period of the game where you're just doing nothing and it's like oddly... Yeah... I don't know. I want to say like real life, at least in terms of pacing of seasons. Um, okay, we've got the chickens we have to kill, but I'm starting to notice that there are just a few major buildings that really improve your chances overall in the game. Like the woodcutter's hut was something we hadn't leveraged. Now we've got three of these things, but we could get seven with just one of these. I also believe that there is terrain clearing, which you could get into the midst of a bunch of trees and then put it between three different... Uh, trees. Like, if we could somehow get into the woods here, for example. We'll put somebody else on. Oh, what do we have? Uh, who is our free pip, actually? Luca, who is just a handyman. Oh, no, we need a, a like, quarry person. Uh, where is our quarry person, then? Our miner is working there, so then let's put you on that, and then let's put our miner there. Good. So, as they get specialized, they, get, and they can get kind of particular, uh, at least for some of them. It seems. Actually, that one was the opposite, but again, it is what it is. Uh, just generally more efficient structures here. I think we're about ready to bake bread, though. We had a good tomato harvest. Really, tomatoes... I underestimated the power of tomatoes, as many do. And it makes sense that we do. But hopefully now all this long-term investment in bread will pay off. Because I've, I've been having to heal the diarrhea throughout the village, but now I'm, you know, like, in my head there is a story. Everyone starved, there wasn't enough chicken, and diarrhea overcame the village. Everyone was sick, and then we spent the next few weeks healing everyone. Although I, I think, you know, sooner than later I'll be ready to get onto the next uh, difficulty. Building is abandoned. Oh, there's no path. So we do need a path to a, uh, a dwelling here, because I did not build that. Ah, uh, I've really not... I've really not been that smart with this game. Um, okay, I guess we'll just put it right next to it. I know we could be doing better stone mining there, but whatever. I mean, I, I knew that this was going to be a throwaway playthrough anyway, so I'm just satisfied that not everyone is dead. You know, that would have been a, a way to do it too, but cool. Okay, so we've got this. It's going to take two more days to make this, and then finally we can get a baker in there. Finally, yeah. Sweet. This is utterly crazy. Uh, if we bake bread, so if we take the inputs here, fields produce eight, uh, what is that, barley per turn? It is barley, right? Okay, so produce eight barley. You know, it, you can get more or less of them depending upon whether you plant them next to each other, but it is what it is. But six of those barley makes nine flour. And then it takes two flour and three water, but the water's easy enough to get, to make 25 bread. So we're getting bigger and bigger uh, harvests from this. Although, you know, it does take more inputs, but I just think this is better than tomatoes. And it looks kind of cool, and there's also so many more bonuses that we can benefit from here. I really wanted to get the village up till this point where it would have a bakery that could do this. Uh, I mean, I still have yet to play out with the numbers. Like, am I really doing better than if I had done it another way? But I think when we start to depend less on these kind of older technologies for food, and we get everyone onto the more advanced bread, uh, life will improve as we kind of do this. Anyway, I wanted to get about there, but it's also kind of interesting now how just the compounding of the distressed factors... Uh, if you would call it that, have caused our villagers to kind of, like, gradually implode. Which, I mean, it feels good to be getting through that, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, yeah, I don't know, just kind of sweet to see, like, a, a pendulum here. Uh, and I think that this is around the level of balance that I was, I was aiming for with this game. Uh, although I, I still have yet to die climactically, so I think I'm just gonna kind of make a lot of more mistakes now, and then hopefully, uh, you know, seal our doom. Sadly, the day has come when we're all going to die in a heap. Uh, we have run out of infusion, and I've I've really run out of patience to get the number of tomatoes required. 
uh, in order to create this stuff. I, I don't think we have enough water. We really don't have enough of anything, although we've still been unlocking quite a lot of the content, so uh, there is that. But it's been nice knowing you, and we have six people free. Probably we ran into a big bottleneck at the end, so I'm just going to dispose everyone onto kind of useless jobs. Uh, there comes up so much specialization, and I feel like each playthrough will just get much, much better as we go. Let's just put everyone to useless tasks like cooking chicken before the last day arrives. And, you know, I, I think it's been worth it, and it's been enjoyable. We'll light a fire. Uh, I won't even put people onto the meeting. Maybe I'll give myself a slightly better chance, just honestly, just for for fun, but no, uh, gradually it, it was mainly the distress, because two knife entertainers should be more than enough to give your whole population hope. I'm happy with my fields, how they've come out. I do think it looks good. Uh, maybe we could have gotten bigger dwellings, or we could have done this, that, or the other thing, but overall, I'm just curious as to see what our doom will look like. Hopefully... Oh, wow! We did fine! I'm actually surprised. That was very lucky. I mean, I was hoping for something, like, climactic and bad, but I guess, uh, well, we have a good ending. All buildings have one more hit point. The village gains 50, but none of these events are even that good compared to probably what would have happened bad. Wild animals grow twice as fast and... They're right for, like, a somewhat anticlimactic ending. Everything is fine. Uh, I mean, we could get fires and floods, and you saw that everyone had diarrhea and, uh, any number of other bad things. But I guess, you know, considering that we had one event not go our way before, we did sort of deserve this. So I'll take it. I am a genius, after all. Uh, and we are baking more than enough bread for our population. That being said, uh... I do feel as though this game is one that takes a very long time to get in a full playthrough. And I feel as though it's very rewarding, and I now... I feel like I do get that overwhelmingly positive review. Because it does take some time to get into, but I think this game is doing a lot of stuff right. Um, I really like it. Dot Age. I do recommend that you guys check this one out. Uh, but I think I'm probably going to leave it there, because I've made it almost all of the way through a year. But it's also been about... Uh, I haven't shown it all, but I, I would say it's been about four hours of play for just this one playthrough, and that seems like plenty for now. Uh, I don't like to make them too much longer than that, especially for a first showcase, but yeah, it seems like a great game for uh, doing some challenges. Um, I'm trying to think if that would really work. It's got a, like a really board gamey vibe. I, I get the feeling of Agricola... It's like the Agricola that I never had. You know how you could play multiple games of solo Agricola in a row and then keep adding on professions like your whole family gets, uh, you know, kind of like this intergenerational knowledge that they've passed down. Very, very cool way to play that board game if you've never played it. And I do recommend that, but um, I really get good vibes from this game. Uh, sadly, I feel as though this is one I won't have as much time for just because of how long it takes to get through a playthrough, and there's a lot of other stuff I want to cover, but, uh, this is one that I would definitely return to, especially, uh, after having unlocked more of the content, like getting the fish, pigs, it would be nice to have, like, rabbits and other animals out, but it does seem to take a while, so there is some reward to the meta progression, I'm okay with that, and I think it, it's a lot of content, so I, I, I think that is a perfectly fine and well place for meta progression to be. Anyway, to be very snooty and critical, I think this is a great game. Definitely check it out. Anyway, Dot Age, and uh, yeah, peace.